Hi friends, I'm here with this week's Tea of the Week. And this week I'm presenting Silver Needle. Gosh, have you ever tried this tea? It is lovely and very, very special. So first of all, I wanna show you what I'm gonna make it in. This is a new teapot to Tea Market. Really adorable little glass pitcher that, you know, it's good and sturdy. It's got some heft to it in terms of different glass pitchers or pots that we've had before. So I think it's pretty durable for the most part. And then it is a wonderful tea, or it's a wonderful pot rather, that you're going to infuse teas that it's really important for them to have plenty of room to swim freely in the water and truly expand. That's why we don't sell tea balls at tea, at, at tea market. And so this is a great vessel, particularly for that. So I'm gonna get this going and then I'm gonna tell you some more about it. Now, this is a great time to kind of focus on how we measure tea. If you've ever seen us make a tea, a drink at Tea Bar, you know that we actually take the time to measure tea by the gram and find out exactly how many grams. And what you're looking for is uh, two grams of tea per eight ounces of water. This little pot makes 13 ounces and Silver Needle is very, very leafy. So we're gonna look for two great big heaping spoonfuls with our tea measuring cup because it practically weighs nothing at all. It's really light and fluffy, very delicate. Okay, so we've got our silver needle right inside our little pot. And then for this, I'm gonna steep this in 180 degree water. So for white teas, which silver needle is quintessential white tea. For white tea, they can take a little hotter water temperature than green teas. We always recommend around 160 for most green teas. And it seems funny that um, a more light tea, we would do a little bit hotter water, but you really need that to bring out the flavor of it. And so I'm gonna use 180 degree water. Now, my personal preference is I like this steeped for about two minutes because this is a lovely tea that you can reinfuse many times. So to start it off with a really short steeping time and then sort of uh, maybe increase your steeping time for multiple infusions is a great way to go. So we're gonna set our timer and get that going. Now, our infusing portion that separates the brewed tea from the tea leaves is built right into the lid. And most teapots, and this one is no exception, has a little hole right in the top of the teapot. And you wanna make sure that you line that hole up directly away from the spout. That allows the teapot to pour smoothly and draft properly as you pour. Now let's talk about this beautiful tea. So a silver needle is nothing more than the unopened bud of the tea plant. You can see that they have what we consider downy white, little like downy white little hairs on the outside of the unopened tea leaf and they are just beautiful and they're smooth and soft and lovely and so if this were left on the plant about another four days it would actually begin to open up and become a tea leaf so we're actually harvesting that unopened bud of the tea leaf and so this is a great time to talk about the fact that you know when these orthodox beautiful teas when they are sent into the uh, tea garden to pluck the teas they're after something very specific many times it's the one leaf in a bud or the top two leaves in a bud in the example of silver needle they're simply collecting just the unopened bud itself. And that's why it's very rare, special, a little pricey, uh, but worth it because you can steep it many, many times. And so this comes from a region in China, which is really the cradle of tea, uh, the Fujian region of China. And this is where its home, home is. And this is where white teas are really indigenous to. And white teas are subtle and delicate in nature. Now, the bud does contain caffeine and, but when you steep it nice and light at a low temperature for a short steeping time like this, you're going to end up with a very low level of caffeine in your cup. Now, if you were to uh, steep it for a long time, say six minutes, you're gonna draw out quite a bit of caffeine. So if that's what you're after and you like things nice and strong taste, you might give that a try and see how that feels energetically to you. But I like to keep it nice and light, steep it several times. It's super, super high in L-theanine and antioxidants. And see how the pot holds our tea leaves away so that we can enjoy it just like this. 
beautiful, subtle, crystal clear infusion. It's light and delicate, that's its nature. I would consider this tea perfect for times when you really wanna spoil yourself with something lovely and super healthy. This really isn't one that I would serve to a crowd. Uh, people who drink coffee would think it tastes like hot water, but the subtleness and the delicacy of it are truly its nature. One of the things that you will see when you pour it in the cup is this wonderful sheen on top. That's the essential oils coming out of that tea leaf, and it lets you know that that tea is really, really super fresh. So if you've never tried Silver Needle, I certainly hope you give it a try. We are offering it this week, as it is our tea of the week, for $3 a prepared cup at Tea Bar. So if you've never tried it before and you'd like to, that's a great chance. If you love it, it is on sale for 10% off this week only on teamarket.com. It's exquisite, it really is. I sure hope you give it a try. And I'll see you next week with our next Tea of the Week.